Okay, so there's a dependency that we need to install before we can actually uh, build our wrapper class to bring all this functionality together. Um, and I had a search through all of the different libraries, uh, the PHP libraries for the Twitter API, and this one really jumped out. It's extremely easy to use, um, really easy to get started with. There are plenty of examples on the GitHub uh, repo as well. Uh, in the readme. So we're going to install this using Composer. So under Packagist, uh, we've got the um, requirement here. We're going to place this into a Composer file. Now, if you've not used Composer before, it's basically a dependency manager for PHP. Uh, go ahead and download it, and then make sure you have a terminal window open or a command prompt open in the directory that we're working in. So let's go ahead and under Twitter auth, which is completely empty, we're going to be doing everything from scratch here. Let's create a new file and we will call this composer.json. This is basically just a JSON uh, object here and we're going to have a require property. This is going to basically have this in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, run composer install under this directory. That's going to find that composer JSON file and it's going to install that dependency for us. So now that's installed back to our directory here, you can see that we've got this vendor folder and we've also got a composer.lock file that's been generated. But what we're interested in here is the auto load file. Now what the auto load file does is it uh, loads in all of our dependencies from composer. So if you did have other dependencies in your application, these would be loaded in too. So let's get rid of these two and let's start to build up the directory structure of our, of our application. I'm going to create a folder called app and this is going to store my classes and it's also going to store my initialization file which I'm going to create now. So I'm just going to call this init.php and we can include this from the index file, the callback file and any other files that you have that need uh, this functionality. Now the first thing that we want to do is start sessions um, because we are going to need to make use of storing tokens within sessions. So that's really important. Uh, and the second thing I want to do is requiring the auto load from Composer. That's basically going to include in Codebird. So we've done that and we can assume that this is going to work. So I'm going to include vendor autoload.php. Okay, so we're also going to include the classes that we have later on, but let's set up Codebird. So we need to set our consumer key. That's basically just our public and our private keys. And then we need to create a new instance of Codebird. Now Codebird uses the singleton pattern and it is namespaced under Codebird. So we need to access it by its namespace. So it's Codebird slash Codebird. And then we have a static method here called set consumer key. So this takes two parameters here, uh, which is our public and our private key. So here's our API key. And then we want to put our API secret in there as well. So let's grab both of these and put them into here. And that's done. So we've done that we have set the keys. Uh, and hopefully now we can get access to our application we created earlier. Now I'm going to create this variable here, uh, which we're going to inject later on into our own Twitter auth class. So this is basically going to be an, uh, an instance of Codebird. And again, like I said, we're using the singleton pattern uh, here. So this is just going to be under the Codebird namespace, Codebird get instance, and that's it. So we've now got this client. Let's just do a var dump on this client just to make sure things are working. And to test this out, let's create a new file inside of here. And this is inside of our root, remember, and call that index.php. And in fact, while we're at it, let's create our callback file as well. So that's going to be callback.php. So under index, let's do a require once and let's require uh, app init.php and cool that should be it and we'll do that same for callback as well and we'll be including our other classes in here later so app init.php perfect so now if we head over to here there we are we've got our object our codebird object uh, dumped out for us so we know that that's working
Okay, so instead of doing that, let's get rid of that. Uh, all we need to do in here later is include our DB class and Twitter auth class. Uh, in fact, let's do that now, just set everything up so we've got everything where we need it. So let's create a new folder in here called classes. Uh, this really depends on how your application is structured. It might be structured completely different. Um, we're going to have a DB class. We're going to use this later to basically query the database and insert a record. We can get rid of that for now. And inside of classes, let's also create our main uh, Twitter auth class. So I'm going to call this Twitter auth.php. Okay, cool. So that's going to be our Twitter auth class. Now under index.php, let's require these both in. So it's going to be app classes um, db.php, and it's going to be app classes twitter auth.php okay so let's just make sure they're included and there we are we don't see any errors so we're pretty much set up now uh, we're going to go on next to look at actually creating our twitter auth class generating our url that's going to put us through to twitter and dealing with tokens and things like that